So this is the Halo Bassinet. Um, it's really just a cute little bassinet that you would use for newborns to up to six months of age. Um, this is just a quick review of the actual device. Um, I've been using it on my newborn. So it comes, uh, this one that I have comes with the infant insert. Um, I didn't clip all of the clips just for the purpose of this video so I could take it off very easily, but they just snap on like this. Oh, it's really hard to do with one hand. Two-handed job. Okay, there you go. Just snap with your non-dominant hand. Okay, so you would put the baby in here. It acts kind of like a cradle um, and holds them suspended a little bit above. I don't know if you could see the bottom of that. It's just like about an inch above the actual floor of the bassinet. Um, I did not find this helpful though, so I did not use it. Um, but it may be very good for your child. Okay, so then when they're a little bit older, you can just kind of put them in the regular part of the bassinet. Um, there are a few features of this down here. This is a vibrate feature. Very low sound. Okay, you can, if you press it again, it goes a little bit more of an intense vibration and then another click and it's off. This is a nursing timer. That's a feature I didn't use. Um, we also have sound. I don't know if you could hear it. It's a very low sound. And then we have the light. The light, you really aren't going to be able to see great. Um, just because it's not really dark out. Um, it's a very low light on... Um, the more uh, upgraded version of this, there's another button down here for a floor light. That would be a very good upgrade because as you'll see, there's these very long, hard metal um, bars and they are hard to see in the dark. Um, so we've tripped a few times over them. Um, a good thing about these though, is that you can, if you have a bed, um, that has uh, room underneath, you can slide the legs under. However, I do not I have a storage bed. So the legs stuck out pretty far. And as you'll see here, um, this is the adjustable, uh, like up and down. So it could be very level with your bed, which is great. And this kind of collapses just a little tiny bit. I don't know if you could tell, it just goes down a little bit. Um, when I was leaning over in the bed trying to get the baby out, uh, it was a little bit easier. Um, but this side, this back side is actually higher than the front side. And then the pad it comes with is very specific. So you can't, um, you know, mix it with, uh, really any other bassinet, um, you know, covers or anything. It's very specific, but, um, there are a few layers to this. Uh, that were good um, because when the baby has an accident, you know, I took one layer off and the layer underneath was okay. So there's some waterproof uh, pads you can get that go with this, but make sure you buy specifically Halo. And on the side, there are these little pockets where you can probably put like diapers or binkies or something like that. And there's one on the side as well. And it's pretty spacious. Um, it's pretty heavy, um, so it's not easily movable. Um, I don't know if you can see, but under here there's a, like a little lever. And you push that to release it and separate it from the from top to the bottom. Um, and the two pieces should be probably carried in separately. Um, 
and as you'll see it's called the swivel sleeper the bassinet swivel sweeper because it does swivel so you can turn the whole thing around it comes out push it back in this was helpful getting out of bed i would push it and make room for myself to get out of bed and then i would pull the baby in closer as i got back into bed that part i liked about it um what i don't like is that it does not i would love if it like kind of rocked the baby like this and moved that would be ideal um but this does not move on its own you'd have to physically swivel to move this bassinet um and that is pretty much everything you'd probably need to know about this bassinet. Would I buy it again? Probably not. Um, see my review of the Snoo Sleeper uh, because I feel like that does a lot more uh, than the Halo. Um, however, if you're looking for something in a lower price range, this might be a better option. I just felt like the baby wasn't as comfortable sleeping in here. Um, you know, I felt like this got kind of cold when I would take him out. So what I would do is I take the whole thing and I would put it in the bed with me while I nursed. Um, that helped a little bit. Um, also that it didn't rock. Now you can rock it. Um, but you know, that's a manual thing. It's not like you can, um, you know, let him, let the baby kind of in there. Um, and have the actual device rocking him, you have to rock him. And I felt like it's a little bit jerky. Like when you first pull, it would kind of startle the baby. So I would, even as gently as I'm pulling, it just kind of like, they would just startle every, every time. So it definitely was not my favorite purchase, um, but it definitely might be a great option for some people, especially if their babies are not as fussy. All right, I hope this review was helpful. And make sure to check out my review of the Snoo, um, cause that is the one I ended up buying and using when I felt like this one was not uh, working for us.